Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to what is, unfortunately, sadly, very reluctantly, the last episode of Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I, I can see my co-commentaries uh, are um, also very shocked and saddened by this, this fact. I'm just looking um, forward to the song. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might actually have put the entire song in the video. Um, oh, good. You know, the end credits, we can talk over the end credits. God, the ending song. You guys have something to look forward to. Uh, I am, of course, joined by my two co-commentaries. Um, subjects? I don't know. You don't say co-commentaries. Shut up, trolls. Just introduce them. Co-commentators. Co-commentators. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, Hashtag I first the... language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Richard Carpet. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good, sir. Apart from the coffin. Apart from the coughing. Well, <laughs> that reminds me of that stupid joke in the seventh guest when you go to the crypt and you try to solve the puzzle and Stoff just coughs up along and goes, haha, excuse my coffin. <laughs> <sighs> Feeling lonely. <laughs> you, I certainly was at that time. Um, also in the thing is, of course, Natalie Juhas. So close. So, so very, very close. So, um, I, I almost More of it. a silent J, but that's all right. Juhas. But I am here. Yes. yes, there you go. Looking lovely, resplendent even, in, in green lipstick. Green. Uh, yes, green. for reasons that shall become very obvious. Um, so let's get into the last episode of Phantasmagoria, chapter number seven. I will, however, stress that this is not technically the last time we'll convene for this. It is, however, the ending of the game, but next week we'll be looking at the game in its fabled censored mode and talk about why Rizulka can't play it legally in Australia. And you! Oh, and, and me? Don't, I thought you were saying that it was banned in your country as well. Oh, no, no, no. Someone was telling me it was also banned in someone else's country. Uh, it's Well, it's banned in Australia. It'll be banned in Germany, for certain. Yeah. That's it. That was who it was banned for. That's Denmark, right. does, Denmark didn't me. care. And now you have control. Chapter 7. <gasps> Starts off with a bang. My god, something exciting's happening. Oh dear god, no. I've finally given up on life <laughs> and this house. Finally, she's packing. Oh yeah. Be a clown. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Because everyone loves him. Is, is it really important to. Is, is he yeah, trying to put on. I'm going to pack that. Uh, I, need, I need the rabbit from underneath the. Uh, the thing. Yeah, and that headless doll she's from the She's packing literally everything that she's never worn. Yeah. I need another seven orange shirts minimum. <laughs> I'll take this yeah, memory of better watch? times. It'd look good yeah. for the divorce. And now we get the only attempt they do at actually doing an emotional connection between Don and Adrienne. Apart from a very he, awkward sex scene at the beginning. He dropped me onto the rocks. Yeah. It was a good day. Six chapters too late. I love the fact that if you want to, you can go straight to this and not play the rest of the game. Yeah, and just watch this. Also, I want to know who took that photo and why he's dressed as John Lennon. And why he looks so much like Christian Kane from Leverage. <laughs> <laughs> also, good oh, questions. Yeah. Good I've questions all around. I've not thought of that connection. Loving it. Yes, we are, we are now done with I the love this frame so much. <laughs> why did we besmirch it with our love? <laughs> I mean, Adrian does Take her- Take the photo out of the frame. Take the frame. Yeah, just bring it. Yes, Don may be a demon demonic presence, but he's, wait for it, no actor. Hmm. I th I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to- Plus five points if you got that one. <laughs> I'm struggling to figure out if- I didn't get that. I'm struggling to figure out if, you know, all the screaming and the makeup is because he's enraged with demonic fervor, or if he's, like, struggling to get his humanity out and doesn't really want to do what he's doing. I'm not guessing the game is that smart. No, I think- I think- I think, uh, David Holmes is just like having this. fun. I need my coat. Do something? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say goodbye to uh, the gnome and her I, weird son. I, I gotta do something. Maybe I'll murder my husband and keep the house. <laughs> I mean, yes. we did already pay for the house. And my laptop is, of course... Oh my god, what happened to the laptop? <gasps> <gasps> oh, that is it! That is it, Don! Will it blend? That is the question. <laughs> I can't believe Don did the answer it. is, yes, it did. <laughs> What is that thing sticking out of it? It almost looks like she's picked oh, up that... a waffle. 
Right. Out of a waffle iron. That does it. The cat was one thing, the misogyny did another, but you touch my laptop and you die. Yes. My AD you character. You turn it to a waffle iron and you die. AD character limit laptop. Yeah, this is beyond reprehension. But let's just Wait, go. Wait, don't, don't, don't come to it. Hey, I'm going to murder you. Um, but first, could I have some advice on makeup? <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Now, I've just, I've just splotched the, this insane clown posse thing on my face. What do you think? It's the best I could do. <laughs> well, you know, it matches the art upstairs, I'm just saying. It is um, fairly innocuous. It's... Yeah, you know, con- compared to like the previous day's painting, that's a lot more effort than the See, rest of the day's ever put together. That, that, that is her looking thing. This would go for something on eBay. It might. Oh, yeah, it would sell quite uh, well. Maybe five quid something i don't know um also oh i was thinking like 10 i i, I have further questions I, I about would the buy that. I, I would buy that i would put that i would put that in my bathroom really uh, just to as, as, as a surprise for any visitors just but you know still put it put it on the back of the door so when people close the door just go oh fucking hell oh gotta pick up some murder weapons just in case you know yes no wait that wasn't yes. the murder weapon no but it's it could it, be it, used in such a certain way. Yes. Better go and check on the slime baby. Yeah, the slime baby's doing fine. Yes. And you can't you can't yeah. seven times click the baby now. I'm trying right now. Damn. <laughs> Laughing <laughs> demon baby. <coughs> well, this is a serious day. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> the only serious day. The crack of afternoon ghost murder day wasn't serious enough. Okay, we can go in the dark room now. Let's not. And say we did. Yeah. Let's just go here, where it's quiet, and everything is fine. Oh. Uh, further question about the uh, uh, painting. Um, since they haven't actually really mentioned the demon until uh, the old man in the wheelchair squeaked something about, yes, possession and such, we've never actually seen... He's possessed! Yes, but we've never Dying. we've never set up the demon. We don't know its name. We don't know what it looks like. So we're just looking at a picture of something with teeth and just going that's mm. and creepy. eyes yeah and Dom doing his best to Amanda Hagen cosplay <laughs> yes that makeup seriously I thought it, I thought Phantasmagoria uh, scenes were meant to scare you know the, the faint of heart and children and all of that and you know if he comes out looking like like Bobo the Clown that's hardly gonna be frightening well, maybe it ties mm. in with this room, and that's a Comic Sans font. <laughs> <laughs> Mercifully, uh, th- this game is very deficient in Comic Sans, uh, or even the old deluxe paint fonts that Sierra were very keen on using back in the day. A bit higher, that you know of, higher. anyway. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, watch oh, your head, watch fine. your head. Now, here's a question. Did you, did you get the scene where Adrian tries to leave the house? Yes, I got as many scenes yes. as I could. Thanks to you, my... I almost called you my yes. dear. I'm sorry. Um, I am your dear. <laughs> in, in a different way. Uh, I'm your your friendly yes. dear. Um, so, no, the first time that I played this, when I, I did that scene, it actually glitched out. Like, I didn't see the first bit where she was trying to open the front door. She just suddenly popped from the front room to the back room. <laughs> and I'm like, What? She's she's teleporting now. <laughs> Did the uh, robot sprite teleport to the wrong background and she was just banging on thin air or what happened? Oh dear god. No, no, no. So it was it, it had cut halfway through. So instead of showing the first bit where she realizes she can't leave through the front door, she just suddenly was at the back door trying to leave and I'm like, "What are what are we doing here?" <laughs> yeah, I don't remember doing this at all. I also don't remember This is the worst music box ever. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. I don't remember us being in the crypt uh, before, so we're just having a look around here. While Mark Siebert apparently is having a fit at his keyboard. I, I quite like the fact that at least they kind of bothered with proper burials. Yeah, that's interesting. Also, the uh, the contractors who worked on this house must have had several questions. Oh, but they're yeah. probably down here as well, so they probably don't have any questions anymore. Interesting fact for those of you who, for some reason, want to play this game. Go into the done. light. <laughs> Go into the light. Maybe we can escape here. Um, uh, you, you noticed we swapped um, the uh, bobble thing uh, for uh, the cross earlier in the, in the previous episode. If you don't do that, then there's a crucifix just lying on one of the coffins down here. Can I tell us, by the way, how come her back door leads literally into King's Quest? 
because Roberta Williams. Yeah. Um, I, I'm. All Roberta Williams places are one. I mentioned the whole crucifix uh, uh, thing because you'll notice once we actually, spoiler, get into the chase scene, and I'm saving my game now, which is going to be a useless gesture, um, I oh, fuck it up so bad that I actually have to restart the chapter several times and go down and pick up the crucifix from the... Oh, I have to shut up now. This is so, this is probably... Done. I'm, I'm here for a callback. Yeah. Is, is everything all right, dear? I already... <laughs> When did he have My time God, to he, do this? he took a thousand pictures of his feet. <laughs> He's a shit for cameraman. He's actually very bad at his job. Also, oh, the, this is a good picture of me. Oh, also, the dark, the dark, the dark room thing doesn't really work when you leave the door open. Or do that. Yeah. Why is it all the exact same <laughs> mugshot of Adrian? Oh my God. When did I pose for this? <laughs> <laughs> my God, my husband knows what I look like. Oh, this must be my casting shot. I thought this would never get out. Dum dum dum. Like my work? No, you look like an idiot. Yes, dear. <laughs> Don, how did we afford this place? <laughs> but the head is useless. <laughs> this is just. And, and then he realized what a shit job he's doing. That one actually came up in Adventure X this year. <laughs> yes, it did. It was part of the pub quiz. Do you... Okay, the director must have gone. I'm it... mad because the light is shining in my eyes. Why, why doesn't the Why doesn't the director just stop him and go? I know we're out of time, but is that really the laugh you're going with? And drink cleaner time. Is everyone excited? No, no, no. Take that. The Phantom of the Opera is there, oh, it. and he oh, is it. Trolls, no! Yes, we are going on a <laughs> on an adventure. Now, the whole thing about forgetting things, you can literally just snatch the book and the uh, game is pretty much done with. But you can also go on this lengthy, weird chase scene. Get used to this music, by the way. It's going to be playing for the rest of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do enjoy the longer, complicated path, though. Yeah. It's so much worth while. Hey, Adrian, is that a slime baby? Why didn't you tell me about that? <laughs> now, here's something that really... Hey, Adrian, we must practice our salsa every day! Yes, I thought we had agreed. Um, sometimes the glass shard works and sometimes it doesn't. I think you'll see that later. Um... Yeah, it's kind of timing-based. The trouble is that oh, by, the time you, by the time you hit him with the drain cleaner and the glass shot and all the other stuff, it starts to feel a bit like that scene from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah. It's like, I don't care if you are a demon, that's not just a flesh wound. Uh, you, uh, well, here we go. No teleporting this time, sadly. No! If only we had windows! Big windows so I could smash a chair through and escape! Oh, wait, we have several. So, yeah, so. I missed I'm, I'm not, this I'm not sure scene. that the, the, the that is going to do it. WHY DID WE BUY THIS HOUSE?! Why is the camera so far away? <laughs> what is this swirly thing next to me? I'm well, very anyway. distracted. No, well, anyway. Well, back to cardio. And we get captured. <laughs> this I, I, I've played this, spoiler, played this bit very many times. And it seems quite random sometimes when Don decides to pop out out of nowhere. Mm. It's a bit like the, the yeah. end of Monkey Island 2, you with LeChuck kind of teleporting out of nowhere. Yeah. But in this case, t him teleporting into the place means that you get strapped into this chair and there's some bartering and begging. Just get on with it! I'm really bored! We've seen I, this I scene like 15 have... times! He took a hammer to yeah, the- Yeah, if you have certain objects, she'll use stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going through all the uh, objects. You will see this scene many times. But here's the first one. Very nice. Don, Don is a man who just, just doesn't look like he reads the manual. <laughs> you know, all that kind of fiddling around. Yeah, yeah, I, I know how to do this! I know how to do this! It's hard to strap someone in and cackle at the same time. <coughs> now here I- YOU'RE IT! Yes, now for salsa. <laughs> and here he actually disarms Adrian. I swear I didn't. I just hit retry and then went the same way and that happened. Hmm. Can I say, by the way, while we're on, on the switch of kind of weird special effects, when he does his, when he does the thing with um, the swinging axe blade, yeah. I find it really weird that they spent a fortune on that effect. 
And then they just cut away from it. It is quite yeah. gruesome. And but it's when it, it just sort of just drops it. It's like kind of you know we we, we, don't, we don't have confidence in this. And it just goes. Owned. Oh! They could have lingered on it for a bit. I mean, the game is not up to any you know high standards or something. And you've already shown the gore. In fact, it freeze I mean, frames. It, 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 I mean, it does also look like her head is sort of full of a lasagna. <laughs> but you know, at the same time, you know, they've they've gone to. I mean, I mean it's the same in Fantasmagoria too. There's like a character called Bob who gets his head. Um, cleaved open with a, a, a hammer or an axe, yeah. I think it's a hammer, and again, they just cut away from it, and they spent they spent a lot of money kind of making that effect. I heard that the fake Adrian had... Well, I'm just going to sit here, yeah, this... I wonder where she could be. This is about this... I don't think, I actually haven't seen this one yeah. before, that's great. Woohoo! Whee! There you are, and it's, the game is lagging like you wouldn't believe, and it, I swear it's not my fault, this is how the game was running when I captured it. Uh, yeah, that scene was new to me too. I was just running around the place. I think this must be my third or fourth attempt at the chase. Mm. She's quite a new to this point. Like, yeah, just whatever. Uh, you can actually, uh, and you'll see this later. No, you can't use the crucifix on him for some reason. We can, however, try and stab him with the glass again because that didn't work the first time. But no. Well, in, in, fa in fairness, as you can see from quite a few shots here, She's got to be careful about stabbings, otherwise she'll move the prop. <laughs> I do like how <laughs> yeah. Don was actually almost about to slow her throat and just went, No, 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 That wasn't in the script! In 20 years, I'm suing! <laughs> Whee! I also like how it goes, you have expired. It's like it's just yeah. a piece of deli meat in the supermarket. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that, that I, I, I thought that was the option for reveal as well. What if you kind of click that 20%? <laughs> All right, this part infuriates the shit out of me, uh, going up and down. Uh, you, um, this is when Don gets really random on your ass. Um, what I'm actually trying to do here is get to the theater uh, with with the big killy chair, because fuck it, let's just run towards danger. But actually getting to it means running into, I think it's a random number generator if Don jumps out or not. Not this bit. But when you actually get to the hallway where he does it, and I must have tried like seven or eight times before, all of a sudden the game just decided, nah, Don is on vacation. Either that, or you can well, lead him around the house. Yeah, so I think. I never really. F yeah, so what the the thing is with uh, you know, you have to do all the certain things in a certain row, so it's like you're delaying him from following you. Oh, so there is a Sorry. pattern to it of some kind. Yeah, so like if you go up to the, you know, to the upstairs and then stab him with the glass shard in the nursery, then you have time to get down here without him following you. Oh, so that's how it works. Because no, I, I think I think it's worth, I think it's worth remembering that you don't have to do any of this shit. Yes. You can, yeah, you, you, you don't have to do any. You can literally just walk downstairs and you get the book and finish the game. Yes. Uh, which is actually what most walkthroughs tell you to do because all of this shit is just painfully unnecessary, but they put an awful lot of work into this. Well, there you go, so yeah, she's nudging it aside. Yeah, it's interesting that I, I, it's kind of like they did the same thing with, uh, you know, I was just trying to give uh, him a King's massage. Quest 6. Mm. Yeah, but you know, like, King's Quest 6 where they had, like, the more difficult path that was more rewarding, and then you've got this, which is... I don't know if I'd call it more rewarding. There's definitely more to There's see. There's more to see, yeah. But, you know, in the end, it's still the same outcome. I just find it very interesting that they really put... I mean, at the start, when I was uh, in the dark room and, you know, about to throw the drain cleaner in his face, you could just grab the book right there, and if you've got all the shit that you picked up earlier, you just yeah. get teleported right to the ending. Yeah, there's no need to fight crap Joker at all. Nope. <laughs> Although, I, I do agree with uh, Rizzle Kid. There, there's a lot more uh, interesting stuff to, to see. Oh, Adrian! Oh, God. You didn't trip oh, over anything. This? Also, stuff is coming yeah, out I'm her back. Yeah, I've tripped on strawberry jam. <laughs> strawberry jam coming from the oh. roof. Lone Star! He's been jammed. I think... <laughs> now, that has got to hurt more than anything. Well, apart from the scythe to the face. But having big old Lotus here. <laughs> Letus, Cletus, whatever the fuck his name is. I forget all. <laughs> Lotus! I love it. It's his new name. And he actually his just jitters at the now. end there. Damn it, I really wish I'd worn a bra this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... That was a more convincing laugh, I have to say. And now we're back to Hammytown. These people are married, by the way. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yep, there you go. 
how you know you could just stay and keep kicking him into the other balls until they resemble jam. Oh, but, he- but no, let, let's keep <laughs> let's keep running, keep running. And this, and, and I'm trying to exit through the hole here. You can't do that. But here comes bullshit. Yeah. How did he <laughs> teleport? No, no. What? I've never seen. What, what, what Usually, is it sort of- if you've knocked him down, this yeah. happens well, it's every like the, time. It's like the Jason Voorhees thing. And he's the he's the, he only kind of goes on a slight crawl when he's on the screen. Yeah. But via the magic of quantum, as soon as you move the camera away, suddenly he's the fucking roadrunner. Yeah, and it, it, and it's, he must have run past Adrienne in the chapel while she was standing there, going, "Can I exit here? Can I exit here? No, I cannot exit anywhere." I mean, how fucking? No, that was just total bullshit, and it happened every fucking time I went to the chapel as well. So that's why I thought there was a number, a random number generator going. Now I'm just going to sit back and let him do whatever. Just have a little whinge and just well, wait th- for him to throw the switch. Yeah. I wonder if it did that because you already had the cross. Because the idea of the longer path is that you, you're going down there because you're finding all the pieces. Could be. Now I'm just deciding, so fuck I it, think I'm going that upstairs. Since you've already found all everything that you need... It's now saying, "Hey, let's throw in some random deaths." <laughs> I'm, I'm also going to chip in here that. Um... Oh, here's the phone, yeah. dude. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi, Mike. Hey. Bye, Mike. Oh, I'll put you with Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to say. I'm just going to say that, that all of this stuff with the using the magic trick to kind of kill her is one of those just making these. If Kano was like the villain, that would make sense. Yeah, he's still, still doing all the magic stuff. But if you've got the demon. Oh. Which just took over Kano. Why he's still got such a thing for this shit? Yes. Oh, to hell with it! You what? can actually throw the switch yourself. Yeah. Maybe this will do something. I could duck, but I'm not going to. Maybe I'm going to harvester. <laughs> <laughs> you always were a kidder, Richard. <laughs> oh, yeah. finally! But uh, finally, I s- yes, you're out somehow of got past him, um, and I. Again, I must have played this so many times and I didn't know. I, I had an inkling you're supposed to chase around him. Here comes my favorite bit. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. He's moved the chair, so that's fine. Yeah. He suddenly oh, changed God, clothes. Oh, God, this. I'm really hungry, honey. Oh, yeah. I thought I some pizza. Strawberry jam. Yum, <laughs> yum. <laughs> also, he's very careful not to... Wow, who knew Harriet's <laughs> hair was so curly? That is the worst wig in the entire history of hair pieces. Yes. And also, it is, it is, it is, oh, it that is, is gruesome. literally, that is, it is literally the hell to pay. <laughs> but that, that, that one shot there was legitimately gruesome. But I like how Don was just sitting there going, I'm now cackling. Is the director going to say cut? No. And then he just lets out this long sigh and just looks in the camera like, uh. Oh, thank God, Narnia. <laughs> hello, Mr. Tumnus. Can you help? Help, me? help me, Aslan. <laughs> Oh, there comes Mr. Tumnus now. Where would she be hiding? I'm a thespian. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker. I didn't think that would work. (laughs) Wow. But yeah, Richard, you would imagine (laughs) that the demon having taken over... um, Don would try to kill her with camera equipment or something. Right, yeah. Tripods. She's kind of sort of swinging it like a bowler or yeah. something like that. Because the, the yeah, but we are talking about the game that didn't even bother to name the demon. That's true. I like this one. This one is very good. He just stands there. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Y- you think this is gonna work? <laughs> think I didn't think of this one? Yeah. Seriously, uh, you insult me. <laughs> I mean, me and the demon have had a Anywho. chat, and this is just fucked up. And we're back in the fucking catacombs. I think at this point we've seen all there is to see. So we're gonna sprint for the exit. We're gonna sprint, Adrian. Adrian, you there? Hello. Well, you are missing, you know, like when you were hello. in the front door. Hello. How does he not, how does she not see him coming? Is it, she was in... Don't attack! <laughs> Oh, at this point, yeah. I had to restart the chapter, and uh, you know, for for reasons, uh, which resulted in an interesting game error. I, I think I, I put this in the video just to warn people who are buying this on GOG, because if you restart chapter seven and then go all the way here, the game fucking freezes with the danger. Can, can, I, can I can I also give a warning to people who might be buying this on GOG? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> They have so many better games. They have a lot of games. 
So now we have to start a new character or a new game, because the game only has one save slot, and start at chapter Fuck seven. You. And that means we don't have the crucifix anymore. We have to go to the crypty thing and get it. Tales from the crypt. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I love it. You have to listen to that every time. Oh, you know, so I was just going to say, so there is actually, uh, you know, if you go to try and open the door before uh, before this, then uh, there's also an extra scene where Adrian goes to the back door as well and, you know, basically gets a hammer out and tries to hammer the window open as well. Oh, right, in the uh, kitchen -y, uh, dining room thing. Yes, because that's where it glitched for me, because it didn't show the first bit, it showed me the second uh, bit. That's why I was like, well, how did I end up at the back door? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so I did miss one clip. Uh, luckily, f f in my defense, it wasn't any of the interesting gory deaths. Hey, Adrian, yeah. why did you throw the drain cleaner in my the face? Snowman, it was just an acid reflex. Oh. The snowman that looked like a, like a bottle of mace for some reason. <laughs> Sucker! Uh, now I can suddenly duck. Killed by our love! Actually, why isn't that? That blade should be strong enough to just go through him and her at the same time. <laughs> and and also, you know, she's got one hand free. She could just do this. <laughs> or duck, because she's not actually kind of held up by the neck in any kind of way. Yeah. All she can do is kind of is literally yeah. kind of go. <laughs> yeah, or back. Oh, and not not throw off your head. Also, it's it's a weird thing that Don was talking about. Let's order some pizza with extra sauce because his uh, the whole half of his face is kind of pizza-ish, and yeah, that that's where he got the cheese. <laughs> yes, and it, oh, there was no shortage of cheese. Oh no, no, there's there's this is a quadra formaggio of gameplay. Don, nonsense. Don, I don't know if this is a bad time, but I really want to divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, but man, oh man, we're gonna have to go to counselling or some shit. Uh, Adrian, Adrian, you're practically standing yeah, on him. Might want to scooch. And, and again, why, why is this a load-bearing house? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, uh, this happened once before and the whole house didn't fucking collapse. You know, when Carno was uh, exercised or whatever. I, I, I quite like that that brick there almost landed on his groin. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, green. Yes, here is one. Uh, I'm going for now, Adrian. Bye. <laughs> well, all things considered, that's not very scary. So I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. At this point, we're all cool. And here comes what Rasulka has affectionately been referring to as the Slimer Demon. Well, first of all, he starts out as a ball of green. The light. magic lens. I am the lens flare of doom. <laughs> Bow before my easily rendered menace. And he looks a bit like a house right now. Yeah, uh, you almost expect him to have that doom sound effect. Rawr. Hello. Hello. I'm... It's me. I'm sorry. I know you were expecting something better, <laughs> but it is the mid '90s, and this is FMV. <laughs> but in the way he just turned around, like ta-da! I'm going to. It's almost like he was going to break <laughs> into song. I am a demon. Just oh, could because... you walk a bit slower? I don't have any legs. It's going to take me ages. I wonder if his name is Hanarabi, because remember, there's the stone that we need that's the stone of Hanarabi. Hanarabi was a pharaoh, wasn't he? He was, but I'm just wondering if it's somehow... I'm a total Geiger ripoff! Is it? Yeah. Is it? But, you know, if, if, if it's somehow related to... Oh, yes! Yes, I love this one! This one's my favourite! Yes! That one was pretty good. That whole yeah, head. I love that you can see the individual teeth breaking off. Wait, wasn't, I mean, wasn't you know. there yellow goop in here last time? <laughs> I like my yellow goop. <laughs> so they, they did. I mean, <coughs> the uh, head pieces for both Adrian and Don, in, uh, there was an interview with Roberta Williams. Those things were pretty mangled up because they only had one. They only had the budget to do one of each. So what is it? It, was the same, it was the same with um, Phantasmagoria too. They, they couldn't afford one uh, Don head to smash. <laughs> What, Don Head in Phantasmagoria 2? Oh, Bob Head. Oh, Bob, Bob Head. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. I was like, when did Don show up? I didn't see There's that. There's a lot of three, uh, three... Uh, bye, oh, I regret buying this house! But mostly I regret marrying Don! I, there's a lot of things. I, I regret only having one shirt. I only... Oh. I regret not getting rid of that chair the second I found it. 
I regret Carlo being a shitty magician because this should really be completely safe. <laughs> And there's, uh, again, in the same interview with, with uh, Roberta Williams, she says, um, she was asked, why is there this big gaping hole before the whole place caves in? And she just goes, well, we needed to stop Adrian going to uh, to that place. So we just put a hole there. Uh, really? They could have had a gate there that broke down Mas with the when the, the ball yeah. went down. I have, a, I have a question, Master Storyteller Roberta Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I have several. Yeah, so many. And this, I mean... There is a sort of heightened suspense and here, but also you have you have the sense that the demon is just biding its time. He's just looking over the corner over there, going, "Are you about done with this? Can I can I eat I, you?" I, now? Good, you know, it is a good uh, wet t-shirt competition. <laughs> yeah. but also, where is the water? Where is this water pipe leading to? Because the only thing down here is that ritual room. Why does it need water? Well, you know, you gotta mop up sometimes when you have your blood sacrifice. You're just gonna mop up, and uh, you know, if you have to go upstairs and get a bucket of water, come all the way down. So, but you know, it's just a hassle. Also, in the time that, yeah. You so, know, also I, in the time that this was happening, would they have had in, you know, indoor plumbing all that way down there? Nah, maybe it's just sewage. Maybe she just. You know, I, 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 I quite like to see one of these things where instead of like like personally dealing with the demon, they just lead, they just like, like kite it into town, <laughs> and it's like, guys, what the hell? Ew! Also, the thing is just spooching everywhere. I was I was actually wondering yeah. what, what it doesn't have legs. It had this weird tail when it first appeared. What is is it actually just a slug monster? Should we get Charlotte Gore on the on the horn? What the fuck is going on? Let's poke it in the eye. <laughs> Look into my eye. My yes, eye. a door will stop it. A door. This thing tore through. A door that's not even barricaded. This thing tore through a skull, uh, human flesh, teeth, everything, but a wooden door with a little hinge on it. Fuck it. It's beyond. I also like to query, why would you have the, the thing to kind of keep things out of the ritual room for summoning <laughs> Satan? You just want to keep out the protesters. You know, all the... Oh, hi, Connor! Yeah. Now, first, when I played the game the first time, I thought that was Don, who had just, you know, because we saw him tumble down uh, the floor. It's not Don. It's Con we, we were told this in chapter 6, I believe, by the old squeaky man. Yeah, Malcolm said that he brought him down yeah. here somehow. Somehow. W wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be great if the ending was she opens the book and is like, FUCK! I don't know Latin! <laughs> and, th and then the monster just kills her, and that's the end. In interesting you should bring it up. This is also the only part of the game where Adrian actually swears. The whole game has gone very squeaky Disney clean up until this point. And then right when the demon shows up, she's like, SHIT 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 SHIT! Also, instant lab. Thank God I took that She's correspondence course. She's talking to the course. book. Do you remember this book? <laughs> She's got all the time in the world. I mean... Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. do we have a dictionary? Aurus et Publius Tibius Fakie but Fuck it! It's the, it's the textbook! <laughs> it's just conjuring. It's, there's just a lot of conjugation in this book. What the fuck? It's it's Puella nominee Flavia. <laughs> also, I, I do love that that slime is just basically in the background going. Like, uh, also, uh, the whole Slimer thing, you know, the gaseous demonic entity should perhaps not be quite so easily stopped by a door. A door. Wait, uh, here he comes. Also, you don't really need to read the Latin because the old man squeaked out precise instructions. I feel. Um, well, apart from the whole, you know, spilling, <coughs> spilling the blood thing. Kiss the corpse. Kiss the corpse. Kiss the corpse. <laughs> it's been there for a long time. Why does this door seem to be made out of, um, Play-Doh? It's 3D rendered. Oh, oh, I take this hand and- oh, fuck it. It came off. <laughs> oh, look, the stern of Heather Now back it. to this. Lorem ipsum dolor sed afa. Sed abet. <laughs> Consecutor is it. This demon takes for fucking I think uh, Gabriel's missing. I do a like that they went. To... Yeah, I do like that they went to the effort of actually still ha having like a wet stain from her shirt <laughs> at the moment. That shirt must be rank. But by who now. are we kidding? It's the same shirt. Yeah. Oh yeah. She probably threw it in the bin after this. <laughs> I mean, it's been through a lot. Because it is her own shirt. It is the actress's own shirt and pants. Yeah, so I think there's actually a credit for costumer in uh, the credits, and it's Roberta Williams. 
Um, Fuck this, I can't stand anymore! <laughs> Stop talking to the book, Adrian. Just do stuff. Also, may, may, I, may I just inquire, while while she's busy cutting her with a glass shard that suddenly doubled in size. Um, My nails. <laughs> gotta get this cuticle out. Um, the purpose of this ritual room was what? Because current... To summon it originally? Yeah, because Karna just wanted the book, and he opened the book, and the demon was in there, and it just... Woo, uh, maybe he read from it, but would he build an entire room in his basement for that? And then why, well, why would he research kind of unsummoning the demon, which was already there and, 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 and was possessing him? Yeah. It's like, surely it's sure like the last thing the demon's got. This is the first Did thing the demon would, would knock down. It is, it is also the, the last thing a demon would put in its own book. How to send me back to hell. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. In case I get like, like, Why is this here? You know, wouldn't the first thing you do with Carlos throw this book into the fire? <laughs> Blessed Except it's kind of where he lives. It's like his summer home. So you know, uh, if why, why, why do I have to translate this Latin into English? <laughs> is it a spell in Latin or is it, is it just some shit to say? <laughs> also, I thought it broke through the door already. Why isn't it here already? It's uh, sort of creeping up on us. Um. Uh, also, what what did did the kid actually do this unsummoning ritual or what? Uh, no, I don't think he did. That's the problem. Like, he, he it seemed to have gotten stuck in that box, so he closed it up on the Bible. Oh, all right. Uh, from a technical standpoint, just before we get uh, to the end of this, um, the rumor is that Sierra Online purchased, uh, acquired Cocktail Vision, the French developer, just for this video technology, where you can have a f technically full screen uh, motion video. I can imagine that. And, uh, and have hotspots yeah. in a full motion video clip. That's well, it, it sure it sure as hell wasn't for the IP rights to Woodruff and the Schnibble. <laughs> I quite like that mm. game. Or Inca. Uh, Inca, my god. Uh, pretty much all of, all of Cocktail Vision's back catalogue is fucking insane, but they were masters at uh, doing technology, and um, the FMV technology in this game, from a purely technical standpoint, is pretty good, actually. Come shoot with a Ferrari, bitch! <laughs> I mean, it is running in, what, 12... Do you mind not reading over my shoulder? <laughs> oh, God, I hate this <coughs> And now she's Slimer. Boom. Oh, I have a pet demon. Yeah. <laughs> Satan, I choose you. What should I do with it? And you know what? I should have a shower. I should leave the house. Yes, in a long, weirdly unemotional tracking shot. I call it, I've had, some reason, it's, it's kind of like Dark yeah. Dark Seed, where the final shot is like the outside of the house with the full sale sign on it. I like to yeah. think that she sort of turns around and goes, No, oh, fuck this, we spent millions on this place. <laughs> you know, now, now we've got rid of the demon, this is great. Yeah, just but tidy anyway, up a bit. But anyway, actually, we, we mustn't talk over the greatest song ever. We sure, why not? Just gotta look up at the foreboding mansion, which again... Well, the, sec the second best after Girl of the Tower, obviously. Girl on the Tower is number one every time. This is for Richard. Ghost written by Ha Ha Ha, you're not getting a credit. <laughs> <laughs> Direct there was a director? Interesting. And now coming to you live from the 80s. This is very appropriate music. It, he's got some weird things, Mark C, but like, you know, he's a, I can feel your love. It's almost like um, from Girl in the Tower, you know, our souls embraced. <laughs> it's just, these don't mean anything. <laughs> I mean, at, at least the song in Phantasmagoria actually had some, you know, I, I don't know, it, it connected. You, you know, that, yeah, that whole thing, like, you know, like, I can't control the beast and it's my anger and all that kind of stuff. But this is just I the sat most down and lied to myself sickening again. pap. And, and especially after Consumite Ferrari is so good. Is it really? It's like yeah. an intro music. You know, why are you playing that? <laughs> well, you needed some sort of closing credit. Also, Take it just to put this in perspective. Oh, just in a film tonight. tonight. The big love over this time. Also, doesn't this remind me of... This reminds me of some 80s pop song. Um... It escapes me right now, but I think he kind of lifted the chorus. Like all of them? Yeah. 
Oh, God. He's definitely gone for the that power balance deal yeah. of the 80s. How, t explain to me how that's appropriate after all we've saw. Uh, decapitated heads, uh, demons. It's not. <laughs> That's but the I mean, it could it's be not. worse. I mean, Broken Sword 2 probably has the most inappropriate song. Um, yeah. I've never heard, you know, you know, where you kind of get to, it's like, kind of, you know, happiness is an inside job. If your name is Mary or your name is Bob. <laughs> and it's like, wow, you're really trying on this. <laughs> I have to admit, uh, they did try a little harder with Phantasmagoria 2. They tried mm. to put this sort of uh, industrial music in, but they... Well, like I, like I said, it, it fits. The whole idea of rage and anger. Yeah, but the song is terrible yeah, and the vocal I was... can't control the beast is my anger. It burned all my bridges long ago and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but the, it's, 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 it's the product of a person who's been told to do this pumping industrial song and then oh, yeah. flatly doesn't understand what the fuck industrial <laughs> music is. Well, also the story isn't, isn't quite that appropriate. Because it should really be sort of something, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, I can't control the beast, and it's the fact I'm mostly made of rats. Yes. Um, my twin <laughs> lives in a, an alternate dimension, and I'm my really sick My twin lives in a chest, and we're far away! Trent Reznor scores Phantasmagoria 2. Um, this, at least, uh, Mark Siebert stays in a comfort zone. It's a deeply uncomfortable comfort zone, but he knows his... Oh, did you see that? Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't think we need to. I don't think the we need to less, acknowledge oh, the less uh, said, that name. The less said, the better. If I, I think we should maybe like, can we actually have a box? Just yeah, I think we should it. just like, blur that. I'm gonna I'm blur sorry, that. Sorry, you, you don't, you don't get any credit. Yeah. You absolute anus. Yes, I am definitely going to blur that. And uh, <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah. if you want to see what the name is, donate to the Patreon. You can see it there. Um, yeah, donate to the, donate to the Patreon, <laughs> uh, la label your thing, I want to know who the biggest anus in Sierra history was. Yes, or indeed in game history, game development history. Anyway, on a, on a lighter there's, there's note... Probably, there's probably worse in game history, but certainly, certainly oh, yes. Sierra, the grand pooh bar of the anus world, yes. uh, is definitely represented here. Yes. On, on a lighter note, the song is almost finished. Oh! I actually quite like the I guitar. I just can't take any more. <laughs> yes, because Mark Knopfler suddenly <laughs> entered the studio and started whamming. <laughs> Animals. Oh, yeah, th there was a rat in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was oh, a there cat. Oh, there was a cat, too. The cat did bugger all. The cat was just like, I'm, I don't want to be in this movie. I have sense. What the wow. fuck are you guys doing? Yeah. Also, I'm being paid in biscuits. Can, can, I, can I just point out, costume designer means that she designed Harriet's wardrobe. Yes. And I want everyone to think about that for a moment. <laughs> Yes, I want her to be dressed in shit, but then have a really clean, bright red gnome hat. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my vision is a garden gnome that does tarot. Yes. And Master storyteller. And house chores. <laughs> so that was indeed Phantasmagoria, the Fresno Flats Historical Society. Yeah. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask, what do people think? Phantasmagoria 1 or Phantasmagoria 2? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with 2 as well. It's less of a game. And to all a good night. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it is, uh, it's, it's got better direction, uh, more interesting story, I feel, and it's designed. It's also a more cohesive story. Yes. It's got more explanation it's to it. It's still cheesy as all shit. Uh, oh, yeah. But Lorelai Shannon, who designed the second one, is phenomenally funny and uh, an interesting person and uh, it's not a com it's not a popularity contest by far but i think she has more of a uh, she's more aware of what her game was i, I, I mean I, I think that for, for me fantastic Two, i think is in many it, it, i'm just gonna cough one second <coughs> um I, I think i think the phantasmagoria one has the advantage that it's like such a stock premise that you can't really mm. go that far wrong with like the haunted house and you know all that kind of stuff. I, I saw the fact that Phantasmagoria Two did something which was different, you know. It, it, even though I think a lot of it is problematic, especially um, uh, the uh, BDSM stuff and like kind of the um, you know Curtis bisexuality, not not in concept, but in the way that it kind of right. comes across in some of the scenes. The way execution. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 it's sort of like you know the BDSM stuff is sort of it's presented as being dark even though that doesn't seem to be the intention um mm. and, and 
but at the same time it kind of is linked to all of the bad stuff and kind of you have that sort of sense that it just doesn't really kind of come together as they, they kind of want I don't think there's a psychological I, I, reason for all of that it's supposed to tap into it he's, he's not himself he doesn't know what he's doing all of that shit no I know but I, I think it's just it's just the awkwardness of you know they try and kind of present basically a fairly wholesome BDSM club um, but it's still kind of sort of tight to like his sort of dark half or whatever well there's a lot of um, leather well, of course mm. Who of course turns out not to be uh, him at all. So who who the fuck cares? <laughs> but um, but yeah, I do like the fact it's at least yeah, as you say better directed. It's kind of better, it's certainly better written. Yeah, better um, acted. And, as well. and, it, and it has to just yeah. just really strong scenes. I mean, it's all the stuff between Curtis and Trevor later on and mm. whatever like, like beats the shit out of anything with Adrian. But, and but let's let's be fair. Oh, let's yeah. be fair. It's still a crap game. It's it's oh, yes. barely a game even. It's an uh, a six hour long therapy session interspersed with uh, you know tickling his rat and reading his email. That's pretty much and all then, the puzzle. And then Batman. And then Batman. Yeah, and then, but only if you get the Easter yeah. egg. Um, and spoiler. You're gonna get the uh, Easter egg. Spoiler: the, the very end of Phantasmagoria Two, when you go to Dimension X, is where I I was really excited because I love alternate dimensions and shit, but it kind of just well you got the shit i got i got shit it's, it's just a bu- why are we talking about uh, phantasmagoria 2 let's let's just recap uh, phantasmagoria 1 five cds of nothing happening followed by a lot of what? mirror deaths and then uh, uh, a dude chasing us around in clown I, makeup i i actually didn't say that that my favorite chapter is the last one because mm. at least something is happening yes it is the, it's the fact that if, if maybe they'd be able to kind of sort of stretch that sense of being like pursued and kind of being in danger throughout any of the rest um it would have sort of stuck out so much better but just having don be a bit grumpy um mm. and um, and the rap and, and then kind of what watching on on like kind of television i know it's mirrors but you know mm. effectively you're watching on adrian's television um all of these kind of murders happening whereas i think that if she'd kind of you know been physically present even if like through a like time wibblingness or something like that yeah. um or, or was hallucinating that she was actually there it would have had so much more power than oh well, that was horrible she seems like a but very I still, I, passive but i still won't i still won't leave yeah because i have to be mm. the most passive horror victim ever it's, uh, uh Rizulka, what's your uh, favorite chapter and just overall take from this i know you Oh, well, I, I agree as well. I, I really like Chapter 7 out of all of them. Um, and I think it's probably the most comprehensive sitting simulator I've ever seen. <laughs> it is. You can sit on every yes. chair. Um, my favorite one is actually the uh, crack of afternoon mirror scene because I don't like being chased around. I don't like timer puzzles. And as you plain, plainly saw, I am shit at figuring out how to lead him up and down and all around. Um, and it also kind of flies in the face. Again, it breaks the player contract as such. I wasn't expecting the Spanish Inquisition. He, he, does, he does teleport mm. around, and that is cheating. It is cheating. However, mm. uh, I, I see what you mean. It actually turns into a fucking game instead of a sitting simulator. But Well, it's actually horror, whereas the, the rest of it isn't horror. It, it, it's not even mild unease. Because you, you know from the very start that, you know, exactly what's going on um the rest is kind of so so predictable and so all you're really kind of doing is basically you're like adrian um ambling around until she sort of finds out you know mm. oh it, it, it's time to to do something i better do that mm. all right for my better take a stand for my life tonight oh, God. gotta think love over this time all right i'm just gonna mute richard and uh we can uh, <laughs> uh we can wrap up um the phantasmagoria that's a space quest two fans and you have tried <laughs> right, that is definitely getting muted um so uh we do have like i said we do have an extra episode coming out next week we're going to play some of our favorite scenes from the game well the only scenes where shit actually happens uh but we're going to do it in censored mode because phantasmagoria actually came with a censored mode in it so that squeamish people can play this fantastically hor- horrific game but not have to look at any of the uh, gory bits and we're, translation we could sell this in germany yeah they tried anyway and uh, not no, australia uh, uh, and, uh, you know they they went in classification in australia and went uh, hey you, you, you can release this game <laughs> with the censored mode active and all and australia just went fuck it nope so we're gonna do that next week but uh for now uh thank you so much for watching please follow my two good friends here richard Cobbett at richard Cobbett. that's two b's and two t's on twitter just like George Stobart. Yes. And uh, Natalie uh, here is uh, at Rizulka 
on Twitter and uh, check out mm-hmm. her game Lorna Baines, which is coming out soon. And uh, ah. <laughs> soon-ish. Soon. I mean, I I I I didn't giggle at no, that. No, no one did. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, please like and subscribe and do whatever you kids do to this video and whatever else content you find on it. But do leave us a comment because we do love the comment. We've had some great comments so far. People seem to really like this uh, series of us tearing this unfortunate game to shreds. So um, really appreciate that. So thank you. And we'll see you back for an encore next Wednesday. And until then, around the Chrono Street. I don't want to think that it's over, but I can't take any more. <laughs>